When we're taking the message of this university out to the public and the world, often we're asked, what are you famous for? What are your strengths? Well, as Canada's Green University, we really want to try to develop new and innovative technologies. They're looking at, at ways of distributing our heating, our cooling, and everything to our buildings more efficiently. We started with a pellet project, and so we have an enhanced forestry lab, and we are heating that fully with the pellets. The pellet project for us was a, a great template on how to move forward. From that project we saw research, we saw teaching, we saw community linkages. That transitioned into the power plant that we're in. The core function of this building is to heat the campus below it. We have a billion dollars worth of buildings down there, research labs, teaching labs, office buildings. We took first place in an award given by the Association for the Advancement of Sustainability in Higher Education. What they found unique about UNVC is that we had taken a heating project and turned it into an item that had a teaching component, a research component. It reached out to the community. First place in Harvard Titus. Good for them. We have a massive uh, forest across northern British Columbia that uh, makes up most of the fiber of, of Canada. And we've been hit with the mountain pine beetle that has killed uh, much of the pine. So now what we are logging are the, the remnants of this attack that occurred, uh, you know, four or five years ago. Um, so now we're dealing with dead trees. Okay, what we have here is a deck of uh, mountain pine beetle attack wood. As you can see here, the lighter colored material is uh, what we would be recovering uh, lumber out of. The uh, darker stra stain material would likely go to, uh, to bioenergy, hog fuel or chips. Bioenergy is uh, heat, uh, electricity, uh, any kind of energy produced from biomass. Biomass is uh, hog fuel, sawdust, bark, uh, planar shavings, any, any waste material that we, that we wouldn't use. The, the company that supplies this waste wood is just a few kilometers from here in the city of Prince George. In the past it was burned and just uh, vented atmosphere. A lot of heat uh, is wasted in the atmosphere and, and it was really generating no value. So this is the beginning of the process. The fuel comes from here into the conveyor. It then rises up the conveyor where it goes into the gasifier. This is the gasifier. The fuel pile is about six feet high in here. We are smoldering that wood biomass producing syngas. The syngas goes through the duct above us into the oxidizer. We then add oxygen, and that gives us the complete combustion that we need. The hot, clean gases come from the oxidizer through the boiler where we recover the heat. The heat is transferred from the boiler to the water, which then goes through these pipes down to the main campus. This is the final step of the process. The electrostatic precipitator cleans the hot stack gases up to natural gas levels of particulate. We were wise enough to build research laboratories as part of the facility, right on site. I'm one of the first few students actually doing research with any of the material that's being used up here. This project is a template for small communities. Some of these are still based on diesel gas. They need to go to a renewable resource. Bioenergy is one potential. There is a great need around the world for innovative approaches to providing energy. And the work that UNBC is undertaking is paying dividends uh, for us in the community, providing jobs, but also responding to community needs across the north. The technology we're using is BC technology. Uh, the workers that built this, this project work in the community. People who are not, by their own experience, part of the university feel connected now somehow. It's good for the environment, it's good for business, it's good for the community. The hope is to train young people and the hope is to develop clean technologies. And here, when we can engage everything from the operations of the university 
to the courses that we teach, to the research that we do, in the community in which we live, UNBC is blessed to be in this situation.